As one of the top models of the world and a new mom, Gigi Hadid's skincare routine has to be two things streamlined and strong. While keeping her glow intact is a pretty crucial part of her job, she does not necessarily have a ton of time to play around with a million different products. So Hadid relies on a variety of hardworking complexion essentials to keep her skin glowing, calm, and hydrated. And luckily for us, in a recent video by Vogue, she shared her secret to flawless skin. But don't worry, we will include all those points in ours too. So stay tuned till the end of this video to know all about Gigi Hadid's skincare routine. Number 1. Maintain a lucky makeup coming up to her most crucial times like fashion week. Gigi always tries to be as natural as possible, staying away from makeup. She admits that during the times of her quarantine days, she could go a whole week without makeup. She reassures everyone by saying, you know, just putting a deodorant is like we are doing great as a model. Getting her makeup done is a huge part of the job on a busy set. A single brush can be used on 30 or so different girls. That could possibly lead to a breakout later, not to mention how the makeup has to stay on for hours. So any time other than on those days, Gigi makes sure her makeup is low-key. All it needs is a lip balm and sunscreen. Number 2. Always carry a cleansing facial wipe with you. As if we can't love Gigi even more for her low-key makeup routine, she has one of the most low-maintenance celebrity skincare routines to date. It's not anything high-tech or something only available to a select few. In fact, she gets her things from a nearby CVS, and her overall cost of her makeup products would add up to only about 50 bucks. Being Maybelline's as brand ambassador, it's of no surprise that one of her important items is the Maybelline makeup wipes. Carrying one with you every time will come in handy. She loves to keep her skin clean and allow Mother Nature to do the rest. Number 3. Use a water-based foundation. If you're someone who struggles with dry skin just like Gigi does, choosing a water-based foundation is going to do wonders for you. Let's be honest, having your face covered in foundation all day is not going to be comfortable at all. Another thing that a water-based foundation offers is its lightweight coverage and its naturally finished look, which is perfect for any day besides who doesn't love that glow. Number 4. Don't forget your lip moisturizer. Lip moisturizer is one of another things you would find in Gigi's bag. The one she liked to use is the Lano Strawberry 101 ointment, which you could get just for around $15. If you have watched her skincare reveal video with Vogue, she shares a useful tip on how to deal with chapped lips. Make sure to put on a quick bomb blot before using a lip liner, and finally a lipstick of your choice. Gigi also applies an ointment to the areas of her face she feels the driest, such as around the tip of her nose and on cheeks. Number 5. Remember to exfoliate. Since her earlier days, Gigi has loved to exfoliate. She uses the famous St. Ives Apricot Scrub to clear the debris from her face. The main reason why you should exfoliate your face is that your face produces dead skin cells all the time and these can clog your pores causing blackheads and whiteheads as well as it would give the look of being old. Dermatologists suggest that's exfoliating two or three times a week, but if your skin has breakout issues, you should probably not do it more than once a week. Number 6. Have enough sleep. Apart from keeping her skin moisturized, following a sleep schedule and having enough sleep on a daily basis is crucial for Gigi. A good amount of sleep helps to regenerate your skin optimally. Sure, this is an easy routine, but easier said than done. It is recommended to sleep at least eight hours a day and also make sure not to go to bed very hungry and always restrict your screen time, turn off the TV, and then shoot counting may proceed. Number seven, facial treatment not a necessity. Gigi is terrified by the idea of someone else touching her face and that's why she opts out when it comes to facial treatments. In fact, in the same video by Vogue, she tells how she learned to do extractions by herself. I never really had a specialist. I don't know, 
I would rather learn to do it myself and do it gently. She also adds that doing an extraction all by yourself is not advisable by a skin specialist as the delicate work needs to be looked after by pros since if it is done wrong, it could lead to damaging the skin. Number 8. Drugstore Skincare Samples Aside from Audacity product, nothing on Gigi's skincare routine involves hundreds and thousands of dollars. Even though, as one of the world's highest paid models, she could certainly afford it. In fact, Gigi uses drugstore skincare staples, such as St. Ives and Cetaphil's Gentle Face Cleanser. The reason she vouches for all these products is that it works for her, and it's all that what matters. And it's even better if you don't have to pay a lot for that. Number 9. Use thicker products to handle dry skin issues. As it approaches the colder months, Gigi puts aside her summer skincare routine and opts the products that work better during the chilly season. Dry skin gets even drier during winter, and to tackle this issue, Gigi goes for thicker products that provide intense and deeper hydration. She usually combines Ceramidine Cream from Darjart and Odita Concentrare to support her dry skin. The former is said to be an excellent choice due to its high-performing ingredients and the latter is possibly the one she spends most money on. But considering its nourishing qualities, it's a great investment. Number 10. Fight Acne with Toothpaste This anti-acne technique might seem funny, but it has been passing on from mothers to daughters all across the country. Although she has been saying this forever, turns out Gigi is still loyal to this trick. Gigi admits that she doesn't use a particular toothpaste, she goes from one brand to another, and it turns out they all are pretty good at drying out a zit. One important thing to note is that just because it works out doesn't mean it has to be good for your skin. The ingredients in a toothpaste definitely are not meant for your skin, and that may raise issues in the long run, so be careful. Number 11. She used natural products during her pregnancy. Throughout her pregnancy, Gigi used only natural products like Olivetta's olive leaf cleansers and oils to maintain her perfect glow, while this might be the route she took for the concern of her baby, but that doesn't matter as opting for natural products is always a wise decision. Just make sure that before you jump on the board, the natural product train, if the natural ingredients are free from any potential risks. This is because it has been proven that certain natural ingredients might have a bit more risks when compared to highly tested ingredients. Also, highly tested products require knowing which ingredients may cause inflammation or skin irritation, while naturally derived ingredients may have more components that can contribute to some level of irritation. Number 12. Know what works best for your skin. Isn't it encouraging to see how Gigi's skincare routine is totally cheap and doable? This is because she stays loyal to what makes her feel good and what works best for her. The products don't always need to be crazy expensive. All that matters is that it works for you. Sure, if you have means, you can always go for something a bit pricey if it works the best for you. But something we could all take a lesson from Gigi is that it's important to be practical and go for products that works the best for you. Also remember that you don't always have to break the bank for the right and the best products. Gigi is one of the highest paid models in the world and certainly can vouch of any kind of product. So that's all for today, guys. What do you think of these techniques? They do seem pretty doable, right? Tell us about your opinions in the comments below. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. Also share and subscribe to the channel. We will come again soon with another episode. Until then, bye-bye.